Back now on Today in AZ, it's no secret that climate is changing here in Arizona and that doesn't just impact us, it also impacts our landscape. Arizona is home to many endangered plants and there's a place right here in the valley working to make sure those plants don't go extinct. Team 12's Jess Winters joins us live to show us inside the rare and endangered seed bank at the Desert Botanical Garden. Jess, all right, so explain what is a seed bank first? Okay, so think about the seed bank like an insurance policy against extinction. They collect, study, harvest, grow, and even put threatened species back into the wild. It's a lot of pressure to keep these, these seeds alive, you know, to keep, the, keep these little plants alive and then to grow them to maturity. Conservation Collections Manager Stephen Blackwell has a tough job but says he's happy to do it. Very busy, but I love it. I mean, I get to, I get to be out in the field um, collecting these plants. Then his work continues in the lab. The rare and endangered seed bank at Desert Botanical Garden houses thousands of seeds. So this is called our germination chamber. And this is actually where we do our seed testing. Its purpose is to save some plant species that might otherwise go extinct. In Arizona, we have quite a few endangered plants that are uh, federally listed under the Endangered Species Act. You know, we have endangered orchids in Arizona, which people don't realize. Blackwell studies environmental conditions that are making these plants endangered. Obviously, some are doing better than others. So that's what we're trying to figure out, which one, what these conditions are that are best for them. Some of the seeds here in the freezer for long-term conservation. There are many different reasons why they are in decline. No, a lot of it is human impact. Um, a lot of it is just natural, uh, natural rarity. Um, but our goal is to try to maintain these populations in the wild uh, as well as possible. But uh, in absence of being able to do that, we will bring some of those plants here and conserve them via seed or via living plants. They've had the seed bank since 2019, and Blackwell says it has been a success so far. Now, that was inside, but we all know the real beauty and action happens outside at the Desert Botanical Garden. And this week, you'll get the chance to take some of that beauty home with you without even getting charged for stealing. What am I talking about? The fall plant sale. We'll have all the details coming up at 630. But for now, we're live in Phoenix. Jess Winters, Today in AZ.